Amanda Martin, and I run the soil testing lab here out in Princeton for the University of Kentucky. I'm the supervisor, and I have two technicians, Debbie and Terry. And for this part of the video, we're going to describe what happens once you've collected your soil sample, what's the next step in the process. So for growers, you're going to deliver your soil sample to your local extension office. And from there, you have to fill out the paperwork, which is basically telling us the story about your soil sample. We have three different forms for you to choose for. We have others available online at our website. We have an agriculture form, horticulture, and a commercial horticulture form. So the information we'll need from you is your name, address, special ID for your soil sample, and for this one it's pond, and the next bit of information we would like to know is what crops you plan to grow. For example, you want to grow corn on this soil sample, so you have a primary crop and a previous crop. So if you want corn, you just check there in the box. Let's say your previous crop was soybeans. That's your previous. The next order of business is the history of your sample. So let's say this is a no-till field. Previous was no-till. And then you're going to be growing, you know, what's the use? You're going to be going for grain. Last year it was for grain. And additional information uh, that's available on these forms, um, agriculture and commercial, is the soil drainage. This is the information that you'll need to fill out for your soil sample. And then your county extension office will assign their um, county code and then they'll assign your sample a sample number. That information will be filled out right here. Once you've filled out your information, your soil sample will be delivered with mail or UPS to our lab. And from here, we will assign University of Kentucky lab number to your sample. get the sample dried overnight. So imagine 24 hours went by. The next morning, we'll pull out your soil sample. And then we grind it to a we take two cc's of soil for malic. This is what tests the nutrients. Scoop it. And we're going to take another sample for pH. has its own extraction station. Before you is the um, soil pH test. University of Kentucky uses Socorro 2 buffer and wets down with one molar KCL. So for pH, it receives 10 mils of one molar KCL. We put them on the LabFit um, pH robot, and it'll run two times. It'll test the, the one molar KCL pH values. And then if a sample is acidic, it will apply um, 10 mils of Socorro 2 buffer to each sample. 
And from here, the samples are going to be converted to a water pH. End result will be lime recommendations. So test soil nutrients like potassium, calcium, and magnesium. We use malic 3 soil extract. And the process for that is we'll wet down our samples. And unlike the pH, the malic 3, the nutrient analysis requires 20 mils of malic 3. Once all the samples are wet down, the tray is going to be put on this shaker. Shake it on high for five minutes. So after five minutes, extracted, test tubes are pulled and put into these racks, and they will go into the instrument lab where they will be tested on the ICP machine. Nutrient analysis is done on the ICP OES machine. And after all the tests have been run for the day, the results are entered into a database and sent back to the county extension agents to generate their reports with recommendations for all the farmers who submitted a sample.